Hey, what's up guys? We're back out here for another adventure. We have some special guests with us today. We have Brad Brookshire, CEO of Brookshire's, right? Brookshire Grocery Company. Yeah. Well, nice to meet yeah. you. Thanks yeah, for coming yeah. out today. Yeah, excited. You want to introduce the rest of your crew? We'll let them introduce themselves, but All uh, right. yeah. Uh, I'm Chris Garrison, District Vice President with uh, Brookshire Grocery Company. I'm Anthony Grant, Regional Vice President, Brookshire Grocery Company and Research. Thomas Chase Atkins, I'm here to have some fun with these guys. <laughs> Joe Soto with Brookshire Grocery Company. Joe Soto. Now, how did you find yourself in Oklahoma in this little stream today? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, let's bring him up for us. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Uh, I used to actually uh, noodle with my dad growing up, and uh, I had noodled in about 10 years, and uh, this was kind of that opportunity when Brad showed up to our store. Yeah, it's like, one of, have you ever seen those movies whenever they start out at the beginning and then they're at this really awkward place and they say, they pause it and say, you're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. said he said that they were at the end of a, he was doing a, a what, a presentation to a group of A people? meeting, yeah. A meeting. And he said at the end, he said, is there any questions? And he said, this guy raised his hand and he's like, hey, would you go noodling with me? <laughs> and he said he didn't want to say no in front of all those people, so here we are. We're yeah, and then Chris was right behind me and he said he would go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. 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 And so I don't know how I got here. <laughs> I wasn't even there. <laughs> but we're going to have a lot of fun today. Um, we're out here on Moccasin Creek. I don't know why it's called that. Don't worry, guys. If we see a snake, we'll catch them. Uh, okay. <laughs> but uh, we'll try to keep them away from you for the most part. But we're going to go have a lot of fun today. So stick around and see what we catch. Come on, let's go. You got dry clothes in the car, right? Yeah, I got some in here. I got some. Oh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, there you go. It is what it is. Oh. Yeah, to keep the camera on you quick with these man. boys. Yeah, I'm good. I'm trying to make you okay. <laughs> Y'all all right? Yeah. So we're out here walking on the creek, guys. If it's your first time to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, your likes, shares, and comments are very much appreciated. But if this is your first time on the channel, hit that subscribe button and let's go see what we can find. We like exploring and going on all kinds of fun adventures. What do we got here? Ah, oh, you did, didn't make it. Nope, just oh, just man. bones. Oh, man. poor little guy. Ah. What do you think about the fishing hole so far? Oh, it's the water's a lot clearer than I thought. Do you so think there's good. gonna? Do you think there's gonna be twenty uh, plus pound monster catfish in this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he yeah, says yeah, yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He's a believer. A lot of people, when I first get him out on there, they're like, "Where did I come? And what are we yeah. doing here?" Now see guys, this is like a perfect noodling hole right here. Yeah. And usually you'd have a little blue cat or something in there. I think he already stuffed his hand in, so I guess there's nothing in there. But you see something like that and you just want to reach in there and see what happens. And Nothing nothing in there. It's a, looks like it's an old oil field pipe or something. That, River, if you find a good hole that feels like there could be something in it, let one of these guys do the exploring next time, all right? River has spotted our, yeah. our first interesting creature. Whoa. What you got? <laughs> yeah, the turtle. A turtle. Hey, we got us a little readier slider. Whoa. Good grab there, Riv. Thanks. <laughs> All right, Chris, when you, when you turn. What you doing, Chris? You got it? Yeah, no, it's okay. Okay. So, Brad, what's the biggest catfish you've ever caught? Oh, probably 10 pounder. 10 pounder? Yeah. Okay, we've got a goal today, folks. We've got to get a 10 pounder. Does the, the person who does the best, they get anything special or anything? Or is it just for fun and bragging rights? <laughs> Uh, just for fun. Fun and bragging rights. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. I got it. Okay. We're done. We got me and well, Brad done got. Stable, me and no. Brad got stuck in some okay. sand here. Walk on the left side. Right. Come this way. There's a little sand, more sand. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Right. Yeah. Hold yeah. a better over here. Is no. Uh, there you go. What? Ah. Oh, well, that just wasn't very. Oh goodness. Do it. All right, getting on, getting on a little harder ground. Whoa. Oh man, <laughs> that's what you said. But... You guys, all right? Yeah, ah. we're out here, we're out here battling the elements. This is tough sledding out here. Workout, man. This is a workout, yeah. As we're coming up to this spot here, River said, Uh oh, and then we had to figure out how to get around this big snag. River and Brad took the tall way. Careful there, guys. Looks like they about got it whooped. I came through this mess. We think it might have been easier. Yeah, it's handy. You can go over or under? Low or high? Low or high. 
Oh, Anthony walking right through there. All right. Cool. Thank you for wilderness man. Just like wilderness man right here. Just climbing right through the jungle. Okay, we found our first decent feeling spot right here under this rock. So we're, we're uh, calling in somebody, see if they can check it out for us. Now if something bites you, you want to hang on to it. Okay. Grab the jawbone. Where are we going? Right under the corner of that rock. It went back under there pretty good ways. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. That was I got me. kids that are used to stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, Brad says he thinks it's an empty hole. That's a hole. Oh, he found us one. It just was empty. What yeah. are you doing up there? Trying to break your neck? Break your leg? Trying to get across. So that first hole is empty, but the search continues. Look at all those. Look at all those minnows. See all these minnows, River? Coming my way? Which store? Reese's, the entire band. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been working for them? 40 years for that young man right 40 there 40 years. That's amazing. Yeah. Cool. where'd you grow up? Mount Pleasant, Texas. Mount Pleasant, Texas. <laughs> yeah. I had to get the rocks out of mine and a piece of glass too. Piece of glass? <laughs> yeah. Got our first injury like that. <laughs> Brad's already shed some blood and we hadn't even got oh, yeah. to the catfish yet. <laughs> I told them in the car, I don't know, I told you the the biggest concern you have out here is the beavers. They get in some of these holes and they can really snap you. They really? Got, they got big teeth. They can take down trees. Yeah. Look right back here at my arm. Pull up my sleeve right there. You see that? That's, what, oh, that's where one bit man. me. I had How get, long ago has that been? Uh, about three years ago, I had to wow. get six staples. He yeah. came up and said, wah, this wah. still looking. Yeah. yeah. You can tell. He got me pretty wow. good. Wow. Get up under there, Riv. Sniff us out of catfish. Oh, yeah, who's up to fill a hole? Uh, Chris. Oh, your turn. All right, Chris. Get gloves on. Oh, look at the camera. All right, you ready? I'm not going to say ready. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Had to stuff your arm in there about to your shoulder joint and see if anything latches on to you. Just right up that side right there? Yeah, right parallel with that log up under the rock. Nothing. Nothing. But it feels smooth. It does feel smooth? Clean? It does feel smooth. We've got a clean feeling hole. He doesn't feel nothing. I'm gonna double check uh Chris's hole here. Ah, oh, empty. Oh, no hole. Really? Not, not quite a hole. Hmm. What'd you find? Box turtle. Yep. He's closed up tight, ain't he? I seen his head when you first grabbed him. What is he doing trying to cross the creek? Better be careful. You'll sink up under your shell, buddy. No, no military. Brad said he spotted a mine almost. You think that's like an old uh, kerosene or some kind of... Oh, no, you know what that is? It looks like a wheel. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you knew. <laughs> I wasn't going to see if it was a wheel. No one blew up. Right, not not right, a landmine. Right. Oh. Not sure if there's a fish in here or not, but we're setting up a little trick on Trace. We're going to let um, him reach in here and see if he feels one. River's going to snap him to the back hole. See how scared he gets, or if he's a tough guy. Chase, we got a hole. All right, let's go. Oh, he's oh, he's <laughs> yeah, it touched the sand. You touched the sand. Yeah. Okay. yeah. No fish. Nope. Ah. And you ain't gonna scare me, bro. I've done this too many times. Huh? I've, I've done this too many times. Okay, okay, just checking, just hey, checking. He, like, he, I, he was not worried about what was in that hole. Oh, I grabbed him like real hard and he didn't care. I don't know. Let's wait till he gets a real catfish. We'll see. We know who's up first with the snakes since he said we ain't gonna scare him. You find you a snake now. Hey, look, a car body. Sometimes car. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. He said he likes SMU. He's a football fan, and he said this year they're going to play OU at OU, right? Yep. Yep. In September. So what, right. what, what's their mascot? The ponies? Yeah, a Mustang. Mustang. The ponies. Yeah, River yeah. did some little thing where they uh, little league teams got to go out there on the field before the game, and what y'all do they do? I forget. We got to run out with the players. Run out with the team out of the yeah. tunnel. That's, That's cool. cool. Good yeah, well, I thought so, but so yeah. far, uh -oh, really, you gotta redeem he yourself. might get fired if he doesn't find them pretty quick. 
You see this little poor teddy bear? That's a little creepy. Oh, I just seen some bubbles come out. Look at that. Uh-oh. Taking his last breath. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. What is that? Uh, looks like... <laughs> Who is this? I think he's from a cartoon. Anybody know what that dude is? Not no teddy bear. Don't use all your strength. This comes. Ah. That's ah. Well, on that's there. Tight. That's as tight as your Yeti. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I he told got... you I was carrying 100 pounds, man. <laughs> Woo. How you believe it? He had some well, sand and rock in there for sure. Rock. So, guys, if you ever come fishing with me, and if I forget to tell you or somehow you missed the message, wear something with socks. Yeah. He's getting full, but it's not rubbing his feet. Right, I imagine correct. some of these guys, so some of these guys' feet are probably getting irritated. Yeah. But these little neoprene scuba boots are about as good as it gets, and yeah, you know, I wear some socks with them. Socks? I haven't got any rocks down in mine yet either. If I, don't, if I didn't even, have, if I didn't have on these socks, yeah, it'd be bad. And then river goes barefoot. If you're, if you got tough feet on the bottom, you can try that, or just wear socks only. Even you don't even have to wear shoes all the time. There's be tough river. <laughs> Ninety percent sand in these rivers. You get a little oh, pebbles. Right. Stuff like that. But still are. We're on about our third break and we are still in search of our first catfish. We found a few turtles and stuff like that, but we really got to get us a catfish river. I know. A lot of cat tracks. Maybe. Y'all found y'all a feather? Uh, found y'all a feather a pretty hawk. sick? Hawk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it kind of does look like a hawk feather. I definitely hawk. wouldn't have picked it up if I thought it was an eagle feather. Yeah. Well, it's all good as long as you find them on the ground, right? Uh, game warden don't see it that way all the time. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop the pocket. Twisting it up. Good. Whoa. Yeah, that had the distance on it. Yeah. Snake. Let's see if we can get him. Gotcha. Finally, we found us a snake. We usually find a bunch of those. Moccasin. Not a moccasin, though. Nah. That's a mountain man right there, boy. He just snag stuff. Little guy. What was it? He was over there, but about where you're standing, he came swimming. Right where I am. Came, came swimming over here. Yeah, no, no worry then. He's right where you're standing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll go as long as y'all want. Ooh, mean little guy. Whoa. Snake. There he goes. What, what'd you do? Oh. Uh. Hey, Who am I going to bite first? Yeah. <laughs> Got anything that goes back? Nothing that goes back. Gotta be some fish in there, baby. Come on, River. No, that's what it feels. What about down here? Gotta be. Down here? Anyway, yeah. Gotta be. They ain't got nowhere else to go. Hey, a golf ball. Another one? Yeah. Do what? It stopped like stop dead end. All right. Oh, girl hands. And he jammed his finger. Ah, yeah, nice catch. Well, we just found us an old eight track. Is that Brad says that Brad said that's an eight track tape. Where's Joe? Yeah. A lot of bass. There's gotta be something here. Oh, there's a good hole right here. A hole? You need somebody to check it? Yeah, we better have somebody check it. You ready, Mr. Brad? My turn? Yes, sir. Sure. Right up in here is the hole. Right there? Yeah, it's a little... Do need to go under? You might have to. I'm not sure. Probably you will. If there happens to be something in there, don't forget. Grab him by the jaw. By the jaw? And throw him into a headlock or something. There he goes. Oh, oh, shit. oh. Oh, what happened? Oh, oh he's got oh, it. Oh, oh. Not quite. <laughs> oh. oh, it's you. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> wow. That was crazy. Oh, he's up there in the shallow water. Right straight in front of you. Keep going. Now you got evidence and we know you're getting it. That's so weird. I wonder if he went back in this hole.
So that catfish just spun away from Mr. Brad. So we're gonna, he's gotta be here somewhere we think. So we're gonna all get together and push this way and see if we can't locate him. Oh, here he is, he's on my foot. I kicked him back that way, he's in front of us somewhere. Grab him out but you kind of just got to put all your weight down in front and Wherever you choke him out. I can't touch my foot and then swim this way. Here and we'll make a while going that way and someone will find him. I got bit by him when I, we were not filming. He came up and bit me in open water, which usually don't happen. And he got my whole foot in his mouth, so he's got to be a pretty big. I have a red mark right there on my foot. <laughs> Okay, all, all right, bit let's me. make our wall that way and we are going to find him. Okay. Look, I got one out too. Good. Uh, you never know. We got two baits ready. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, I heard him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got him? Dang. Oh. You got him? You no. got him? Uh, that is a, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's tricky. You want me to film the rock or you want to? Sure. See that red mark right there on my foot where you did yeah, me? Yeah, man. Oh, there's one. I guess it's him. He just bit my damn foot again. <laughs> <laughs> Which way to go? He's back in there, Brad. You want round two? No, Chris, get him. Chris, you want to go? He's back, back in there. He's back in there. Reach in. Hopefully, he'll bite you like he did me, and you smash down that jawbone, drag him out when you get to the edge of the hole, put him straight into a headlock. That way, he can't twist your wrist, break your finger, or anything like that. I'll come in a little bit closer in case he gets away from me. <laughs> Let's go. Ready? Need both hands down there. He's fired up, he should bite him pretty quick. <laughs> got nothing. You gotta go farther. Where's this hole at? It's right there. I mean, you can feel it. Straight I felt like I went in there deep, but maybe I didn't go in there deep enough. Going this way or going in? Straight that way. Oh, okay. I see what you're talking about. So it's on that notch. Get both hands on him. Did he go in? Yeah, he's in there. He is in the rock, that's for sure. I didn't feel nothing. I didn't feel nothing either. Huh. huh. I, felt, I felt rock on this side, Yeah. and then I didn't feel nothing on this Let's side. See. My foot is bleeding. He bit you good. When he bit me earlier. He bit me earlier when I was just walking around for no reason. Just came out and bit me. He's closer again here, Brad. Come on. Yeah. I'm gonna swap you out real quick and be ready to go. I got it. No, I'm get it. So, I'll, I'll tell you right when he goes under. Ready? Go ahead, Brad. Two, three. Go. Go, go, go. Come on, Brad. Oh, something's happening. Come on, Brad. Yank him out of there. He's him got him, him, Brad. He got him. He got him? I don't know. Got I him. got him, I got him, I got him. Put him on your arm. Put him on your arm. There you go. go. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Madeline in Oklahoma. Madeline right. in Oklahoma. That, that was a mean Woo. fish too. How he was about biting that, my sir? foot. You my hero. <laughs> <laughs> Success. We got us a big catfish. Good job, Brad. Wow. That is awesome. That's a monster. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> nice catfish. <laughs> Very nice. Uh. Good job, yeah, boss, man. Nice job, boss. Wow. <laughs> Well, I guess you're gonna put him back in his hole, Riff? Yeah. Oh, he bit you. Wow. You see that? He's mad. That's what he, that's wow. what he did to my feet a few times. Look, he's, he's been biting some cabbage. You got to show him the bite marks on the side. Flip him up higher. Look, wow. that's a that's a mouth mark. So I was that's a mouth mark. There, another fish. Another fish bit him. He gone. Well, there we go. We did not get skunked. Took us Woo. a long time. But we got one. So Brad did get his biggest catfish ever though, right Brad? Oh yeah. Biggest catfish. Yeah. Great. Mission yeah, accomplished. One that, big. And that was a flathead. Flathead. Flathead okay. catfish. Flathead catfish. Yep. Oh Brad must have liked it. He said let's keep going a little bit. Well, that looks like a catfish or a beaver hole right there, boy. I can see when you're noodling, you just come up here and reach your hand in. Explore the hole. Feels kind of clean. You cross your fingers that it ain't a beaver. Joe, you getting tired of carrying on all this bag? Yeah. No. No? He said he's good. He's been carrying on a whole ice chest on his back the whole day. Today, how much how much walking we done? 
8,406. Say that on there. Yeah, I don't know if you can. 8,406. Wow. And these are river miles. This is sink, yeah. to, sink to your knees in mud. This is yeah. like triple triple steps. Yeah. Uh, no, and then on top of that, I was like, Tim, you're an Oklahoma boy. You should be going out with us. And he was like, oh, no, I'm not doing that. I was like, boy. Shame on you, Tim. You should have been out here with us. And you should have never doubted us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Brad put that tennis face on today. <laughs> he was determined that second time. He's like, I'm going under here, and dude, you're coming out. <laughs> yeah, he did. He got him. The, the problem, he forgot the old headlock technique the first time. The first time second yeah. time, he threw it in the headlock. They can't move quite as much after you do that. Guys, I guess that's about going to do it to us for on today's adventure. The sun isn't quite setting on today's adventure, but we're giving, calling it an early day. These guys are important people. I guess they got stuff they got to get to. And... Uh, Thanks for watching, guys. As always, your likes, shares, and comments are much appreciated, and we will see you guys next time. <laughs> when you guys go to get your groceries, go buy them from Brookshire's. Yeah. They got them in Texas. Reesers. Reesers. Or Reesers. They got yeah. them in Texas, Reesers. Oklahoma, Louisiana, and Arkansas. And I mean, look, if you got people that'll come and do cool stuff like this, that's a place I'd like to shop at, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, you don't see Walmart doing this. No, where's the Walmart guys? <laughs>